do that, do you see how it says edit? So let me show you. So once you hit the staff button, this is where you end up, right? Well, I'm sorry. Hit the staff button, you end up here. Now, here is calculate. If you hit the over button, then you have all these things you can do once you have data in. It can calculate all this stuff. And then over here, this is really far in our future, so don't even go over there yet. We want to edit our list. And of course, look at the very second and third thing you can do. That looks very useful. So hit edit. So you can hit the number one, or you can just highlight one and hit enter. Either way, bam. Now, now. Hold on. Depending on if you borrow a calculator, or if this is a calculator somebody else has for a little while, doing it, this could look very different for mine. Is anybody missing L1, L2, L3? Anybody missing those? It's okay if you are. It's relatively easy to help. Oh, hit stat. Number five, set up editor. You can just hit the five, too. Mm -hmm. Now go back in stat. That is. Cool, now get L1. Now, Second question. So everybody's got L1, L2 that might have stuff in it, right? Mine's blank. So if you want to clear a list, highlight the list. So hit the up arrow. If you had stuff in here, like eight, three, six, and you're like, I don't want that shit. So go up to L1. Don't hit delete. That's how you make a list disappear. Hit clear. Enter. Right. And now you got room to put data in. Is everybody with me so far? Is this playing along? Hit clear, enter, enter. There you go. The calculator is like kind of dumb. You got to tell it what to do and then tell it to do it. Clean your room. Do it. Oh, oh goodness. You have a different calculator entirely. So, uh, good luck. Oh, that was mean for me to say, but you got to bring in the solution, the, the instruction manual, blah, blah, blah. You're not gonna, it's not going to be the same as us, and you might not be able to do everything we need to do this semester yet. Is everybody to the point where we got at least list one clear of stuff? Okay, so on the back page, how many variables are there? 35. No. How many variables? There's 35 data points. How many variables? What would you have asked the people in the sample? How many questions? One question. So how many variables? One. one variable. So you're going to use one list. If I asked how many beers did you have last night, and then I asked what grade did you make on the test this morning, that would be two variables. You would use list one and list two. There's only one variable. You only use one list. Put all these numbers into list one. So go ahead and do that for me. Even if you don't have the front page finished, just let's just focus on this right now. Put all those variables into list one. I'll do it too. So and there it goes. 66, center, and keep going. Oh crap, something's really tall. Okay, there we go. And. Got all the data points in. The blank spot at the end should be the 36th spot because there's 35 data points. Mm -hmm. So trust me, I understand that it sucks. If I give you 50 data points and you get 49 in there, you're like, oh shit, which one did I miss? That's the nature of data, man. You just got a data entry, my God. You can get paid a decent amount of money, but you'll slowly lose hair and go insane and just. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Work from home. No, no, stay away from that shit. Um, everybody got that data in there? 
<laughs> Please, dear God, let me know the minute something weird's happening because somebody could have done something weird with the calculator and it's in a different mode. Whatever. Don't just sit there if something weird's happening. So the very first thing, the most basic thing they should be able to do with data is to sort the damn thing. So hit stat. Now what's the difference with those two sorts? One starts from like the highest value and others the lowest. I love it. So sort ascending, sort descending. Let's sort ascending, meaning from smallest to biggest. That kind of makes sense. That'll help us put these classes together. Sort ascending, but you got to tell it which list. Because it's got a parenthesis here, right? So I want second, I had to hit the second button, one, because see how L1 is up there? Second, one. So that's how you get L1. Sort L1. Enter. And it's a little anticlimactic when it does something. It's like, boom. But if you go back in, go back in, stat, edit, now it's all in order. It's got to be easier to count for your classes, right? Cool. So now you can finish that one out. You can turn it back over and finish the first page. Up to you. Let me know if you need some help.